What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. Today we're going to talk about a topic that is definitely a buzz right now in the fitness industry and that is restrictive blood flow training or occlusion training and whether or not it's something that you can safely do, should be doing it all, or whether it even works in terms of what it's claiming to do is to help you to build bigger muscles. Now, first of all, I think that there is a place for occlusion training. Um, obviously, you should get screened by your physician because this is a restrictive blood flow procedure. We're basically restricting the return, the venous return of blood from a working muscle. If you have any type of blood pressure issues, you should certainly get cleared and ask your doctor if he thinks it's a good idea because here's the main point. This is just an intensity technique. It's no different than other intensity techniques that provide us with the opportunity to push ourselves a little bit further. Now there are some things that that qualify this as uniquely different, and I'll explain that in just one second, but it's no different than doing drop sets, than doing uh, extended sets, pyramid sets, things to negative only sets, things to sort of, again, increase the intensity of your workout. Now that being said, what people claim with occlusion training is that you're basically gonna put a tourniquet, I'm gonna show you how to do it here with a band, so you don't necessarily even have to go out and get uh, wraps or separate wraps if you already own one of the Athlinex bands here. You're restricting the flow of blood out of the working muscle through the veins back towards the heart. You're not putting a tourniquet on so much so that you're restricting blood flow to the muscle. People will theorize that with this occluded blood, the fact that you can't actually get all this return, you're getting a pooling of the blood, that you're, you're creating a hypoxic condition or you're lacking oxygen, which automatically starts to fatigue the oxygen-dependent type 1 muscle fibers. So you're sort of immediately jumping into the type 2 fibers. That's a pretty cool thought. It's a good idea in practice. Again, it's very much being researched right now, but some of the early research is showing that that's true. So we're getting a jump or a faster progression here to type 2 fibers. Secondly, what we're doing is creating a, 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 an accumulation of the metabolites of muscle tissue, normal metabolic stress on a muscle. And metabolic stress has been shown to create a signal for hypertrophy in a muscle. So again, another cool thing. And certainly, number three, we're going to get a pump here, no doubt. I'm going to demonstrate it here for you. One arm I'm not going to occlude. The other one I'm going to occlude, just so you can see the difference. We're going to do the same protocol, though, which is a band. Now, here's what you do. You take your band here, and you wrap it. You twist it once upon itself. So I twist it here, and then now I have a loop. I'm going to put that around my arm, up top, right up above my bicep. Now I'm going to twist once, and wrap through again. I'm going to grab two of them like this, twist again this way, and then come through all the way. Now for me, those three turns, that's enough because what you're looking for here is not so tight that you restrict, again, arterial blood flow. Then you're going to have some problems. We want our blood to be able to flow into this muscle. We don't want it to be able to return. So we have the occlusion right up above the bicep. You can see all, all of a sudden I'm a pretty venous guy, I can get <laughs> some veins filling up with blood. Now, the protocol is you usually want to do something that allows you to train fairly light. So people will often do this on cable machines. I'm going to do it with resistance bands. I'm going to take my, my tubing, I'm going to have it to the resistance that I know, this is a pretty thick band, would allow me to do 30 reps. The first set you do 30 reps of, then you take a 30 second rest, then you go 15 reps, 30 second rest, 15 reps, 30 second rest, 15 reps, 30 second rest. Four sets. The whole thing should take you a very short period of time, no more than 10 minutes. You don't want to stay occluded for very long, okay? So, we're going to go 30 reps. Five, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. Okay, do not take them off. Keep it on. It's going to hurt, right? We have a deoxygenated condition here in this arm. This one was deoxygenated while we were working out, right? That's what happens. That's why they feel that lactic acid burn. However, I'm able to shake this one out and let it go. This one's not as uh, fortunate. So we're resting 30 seconds. We're going to come back here and do the next set, and we're going 30 reps. You'll see a difference in color, probably. This one's going to turn a little bit more purple. If it starts to turn purple and blue, and you know, you might want to bail on this intensity technique. Okay, but again, I, right now it's working perfectly fine for me. Now, 
15 reps. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Again, I'd like to take this off, but I can't at the moment. One advantage this has is, again, if you're medically cleared, you have no issues with blood pressure, this is actually a good thing for uh, guys who are a little bit older who have joint problems because you don't have to train as heavy to still get the hypertrophy response. So it's actually becoming fairly popular with guys who are a little bit older or already dealing with uh, joint issues. But again, it's a technique, guys. It's not something you're going to start going and doing every single time you train, just as you wouldn't do uh, a drop set every single time that you train. Here we go for set number three. And again, look at the differences in color between the muscles. Now it's killing. Again, you can probably see the difference here between the two. So I got one more set, and then we'll be able to let the tourniquet off. Rest in 30 seconds or so. I'm gonna go out wide, make it tough. One, two. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, five. And definitely a lot more stress on this arm here. Just feels a lot more fatigued, a lot harder than it was here on this side, but you can see the difference here in the occluded muscle. Even look, the veins in the forearm obviously restricting the blood flow, the vein is returned back, and here, not as much. Okay, so now I get to take this damn thing off. Okay, and there you have it. So guys, again, recapping the protocol, 30, 15, 15, 15, Use generally something that allows you to be a little bit lighter in weight. Uh, machines, very controlled. You should be focusing on the movement, not cheating your way through the reps. Tubing is another great example and a great way to do this if you're training at home. Uh, good for people to get a little bit of a lighter, like offset some of your heavier lifting, but you don't want to replace your heavier lifting. Your heavier lifting is always going to be important when it uh, comes to building bigger muscles. But if you use this as a technique, you can certainly do that. guys. If you're looking to build bigger arms, I think we've got the market corner there. Our ultimate arm program helps you to build bigger arms, actually have a program that's systematized in just six weeks to help you add up to an inch or more on your arms. It works. We utilize a lot of the advanced training techniques that I already mentioned to show you exactly how to push your arms to the limit, but of course we don't ignore the rest of your body at Athlonex, guys. We hit your entire body here, never overlooking anything when it comes to training you. We train you like an athlete, no matter what program you do. You can get that program, guys, right now over at athletenext.com. In the meantime, if you found this demonstration helpful, if you're gonna give it a try, make sure you leave me some comments below and a thumbs up, and whatever else you wanna see on this channel, guys, I'll make sure I bring more of it to you. All right, guys, I'll see you back here again soon.